weekend. It was all over after nine minutes realistically wasn't it today, the two quick goals with the wind and that was it. I'll be honest I was uh, quite embarrassed by our start today. We've been in these type of games, we've gone through stuff on uh, Thursday, we've, we've said the right things before the game, you know, they've got the wind, hell of a wind, we've just not played the conditions well enough, I mean, the start, I mean there's always going to be trades off and formations and things like that, you can look at anything but at the end of the day, we don't get pressure on the ball here with the left back, we get turned too easy at our right back position. We let the cross come in too easy. And we let Cedric Maynard, who spoke about being a, you know, a good player at the level, and got to get tight to him because he wants to shift and shoot. Don't see our centre forwards getting that time where they can just take a touch, move it, and bed it in the bottom corner. So straight away you go 1 0 down. Good crowd, they're going to make loads of noise, get behind the team. These have won, I think, 9 of the last 16 since we played them and lost 7. So. They're in good form, we mentioned all that. Um, and then we never recovered from that, and that was a hammer blow and could be avoided. And then we, we give a, a cheap corner away again. A little bit of thought process, decision making. I remember saying to Andy in the dugout, you know, we just give a cheap corner away, and then to get beat direct from a corner, it's just done. You know, it's not as if it's going to pick up on the wind of anything, it's going in your face, so we know where it's going. So you lose, you, you lose two goals early on. It doesn't matter what level you're playing at. If you give anyone a two goal head start, and away from home against the team who are in good form, yeah. it becomes difficult. We never got to, to give us the conditions. We wobbled, it lacked leadership, it lacked. It was, a, it was a, quite alarming and, and, and quite embarrassed, I'm gonna be honest with you. Um, you know, and I said to you a couple of weeks ago, there's work to be done. It doesn't matter, you know, we're nine points clear, it's now whatever it is, three. Mm. Our goal difference isn't great. I know, I know everyone, whoever's got to play everyone else. You know, uh, I said to you about Rush all before they get out of it, they're playing Bishop Storford in the week. You know, one again today. So, I'm talking about getting our own house in order and, and, and getting our job done. And we go out and save that up in the first 10, 15 minutes. And then, as I say, the game becomes more difficult then. The wind's in your face, bobbly pitch. The home team are playing with a bit of freedom, got the home crowd behind them, and it becomes quite a, a, an easy game for them. You know, credit where credit's due, you know, Stephen, he's, he's, he's gone in and he's got them going, as I say. I think that's their 10th win now out of 17 games. Um, so, yeah, we just, and then the second half, we come out and you think, well, come on then, we've got the win, dust yourself down, a few words, you know. Regroup, go again, it might be different. I've been in this scenario loads of times where you'd have a shocking half and then suddenly you can turn on your head, but we just didn't get that all important goal. But I don't think we asked enough questions. I thought we just wobbled, got caught up there in it all. There wasn't a lot happening, was there, for Nothing, us all game? No, but again, yeah. stop start of your time, yeah. little melees. I speak to the lads all the time about creating melees to run the clock down, but not <laughs> let the opposition run yeah. the clock down, you know, by, by us. But we often puffed it. So they, they, they had a couple of scrambles in there, and we've had one or two bits. You know, Danny's it. That was probably our best bit of football where we popped it and got Danny free and he hit the, hit the post. And needed a little bit of luck, but a two 0 he's still in the game. But second half we come out as I say we often puff, but they played the conditions much better. They had good areas. You know, they got hold of the ball up at the top end of the pitch. Um, they put us under pressure, but as I say. It's a team that are tuning up at home in decent form, who are playing with a bit of confidence yeah. with a crowd who get right behind them. So the game's difficult. And as it was, it just fizzled out and we lose the game and it all hinged on that start and we can say all we want, you know, and a few of the lads have had a right go at half time, which I like to see because they care, but I'd like to see a little bit more of it on the pitch rather right. than at half time. Right. Um, because as I say, you can't come away anyway, at any level, at any Stay in a position where and, and say about what we did in the first 10 minutes, wind or no wind, find the way, game management, you know, hitting good areas, making good decisions, you know, getting in people's faces, corners criminal, that's the killer goal, so, yeah, very, very disappointing, but like I've said to him in there, sometimes you've got to take your medicine and you've just got to come out fighting and 
and that's what we've got to do now. We've got a massive game next Saturday. But there's some big games in midweek, Jim, isn't there? But we've got to concentrate very much on what we do on the pitch on Saturday, haven't we? Yeah, I've said to him, even when we got to 53 points, I said, don't be expecting other teams to do his favours, as I say. I know all the run-ins, you know, Blythe have got two tough games now, yeah. Chorley and Brackley. They're still behind us. Peter been beat today and still need a win. Obviously, Farsi have closed the gap. Instead of looking at your phones and seeing how everyone else is getting on, just get your own house in order first and foremost, yeah. and it doesn't matter what anyone else does. So, all we've done is just give the, the gifted them two goals, which also plays a big part, and give them three points. Um, you know, when I said these are a decent side, I fancy these to, to, to get out of it, I fancy Rush all to get out of it because of what's over them a little bit, study the league, and. Um, now, as I said, we can't we can't start thinking. Well, hopefully they beat them or they do them in midweek. We can't control what's going on there. Naturally, going to look to see what happens. But um, we've got to concentrate on ourselves come uh, come Saturday now, and yeah. that's a big one for us. So against the tough side, they were in decent form. You know, we're scrapping for the lives, but we've got to save up better than that. Yeah. Too many today. I don't think anyone come up with any credit, but some. I'm just really from another match no, today, no, to be I'll honest. Give it, I'll give it to the fans who travelled over and yeah. apologise to them because we've got to save better than that. You know, when we set our standards, like even the game last week, you know, yeah. um, we got beat, but I can see a lot more. But Not today. The goals wobbled us massively today, and yeah. as I say, there was too many. Not many who come up with any credit, any credit at all, and uh, too many who dip well below what was expected. And I'm making big decisions on team selections, and I expect when you got that chair to make sure that you're putting a better one in. Because I had to leave two of the lads out the squad today who travelled over, mm. and um, you know, Declan Evans and Sam Billington, you know. You make a decision and you hope it, it's going to be the right one. You know, it's all hindsight, people say, I should have done this, you should have done that. That's football, everyone has opinion, I appreciate that. But ultimately, when you're on that pitch, you've got to say a better than that because uh, we've, we've, we've gifted them two goals. We lose the game fair and square against a decent side. And now we're uh, we naturally look towards the league table and the results on, on Tuesday, Wednesday, whenever the games are. But we've just got to make sure that we focus on Saturday and come out fighting in front of our own fans and, and put it right ourselves yeah. rather than worry about or hope that we get a favour or a turn off someone else. Thanks, Jim. First, there's two early goals as cost us daily today as we've gone 2 0 down to Darlington. Just your thoughts on that game before us? Two easy goals to concede. Like, we literally just let them over to start. One, I should have done better on that, just to stop the shot. Um, and then the cross, well, just got to learn from it very quickly and go again next week. Yeah, it's another tough one against a fellow relegation candidate, Rochelle, again. Yeah. I think we can expect just as tough a test as we got today. Yeah, both teams need points, so it's going to be another big scrap. You know, fighting, two teams fighting for points. Um, hopefully, fingers crossed. We get the three points next week. Do you feel that like, obviously on Monday we were on a cool defeat in terms of the late goal, but yeah. the slow start today was do you feel like just we just didn't really get going enough in terms of creating chances and things like yeah. that? Yeah. I was yeah, we not, we didn't get going, but it was, like I said, it was the two early goals that should have just not went in, you know. Um starting bright or not starting bright, like it's just it's just the basics like how the lead up to the to the first goal then obviously I should have blocked the shot. Then obviously I, I don't know if I'm not a keeper so I don't know what I don't know what goes on for the second goal but I don't think it's about get, get going it's after the after the two goals it's about can we react from that and go and go and equalise and, and win the game but I just couldn't get to that. Is it a case now for the last two games everyone just stepping up in that change room and well, putting first the ship on the pitch? Yeah, first and foremost everyone needs to stay together. Stay together, not point fingers, stay as a team. And with that said, I think we can we'll definitely do it. Definitely do it. Just a quick message to the fans, they turned out well yeah, on Monday did, yeah. and then again today travelled. Yeah. Yeah, superb, superb. Honestly we need them right to the death. You know, they've been since I've been here they've been they've been nothing but excellent. And and I know they'll get they'll be the eleventh man next next week and get us through the line. Thank you. Thank you.